Welcome to Crimson Guitars. Welcome to my uh, my factory. Welcome to Crimson Guitars. Yeah, I don't know. This is the Great Guitar Build Off. This is the finals, the final finals. We're here to we're here to show you guys uh, clips from the top ten in both competitions, the kit and the scratch builds. And in order to do that, we have myself, Tom Webster, James, and then finally we have Laura. Laura, how are you? Um, Good, thank you. Yeah. So, uh, you you kind of entered last year on a, a bit of a whim. Oh, a hell of a whim. Yeah. 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 There was nothing bitter about it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you are the reigning champion. Yeah. Not well. How long for an hour? Well, you'll be hand, <laughs> handing over your crown at some time. Yeah. Fairly soon. Burn it. Ha <laughs> ha! Yay! This is one of my favourites. Is it Lego? Period. Is it Lego? Yeah. The best bit for me actually was that it looked like he'd planned the entire build mm. around the fact that he had access to a wall of Gibsons in a shop somewhere <laughs> yes. and he's going to put his it's in just... there and he knew that that photo was going to look amazing. True. And it did. Yeah. It did yeah. So yeah, I mean, I think being in the top 10 with that, he's yeah. Yeah, no. absolutely well deserved. Like over 1300 Lego bricks he got in this. Uh, I was about to ask that. That's incredible. I never tire of Lego. Well, that's I the thing. I never tire of Lego. I'm 37. <laughs> I no. never tire of Lego. Absolutely not. Uh, in any no form. So the fact it's in the guitar form, that's still a win for me. I, I think that if you're going to be in a in a competition, uh, then you know you go for something that's yeah. going to get people's attention, mm. basically. Yeah. Definitely a fun guitar. It really is. Color choices too. Alex Sorsett. I mean, I've been staring at all these guitars every day for months now, oh, and look it, at that. it does not get old. Oh, that's, that's so beautiful. That looks yummy, yeah.
<laughs> okay, so Simon Cox, I mean, I absolutely love that. Oh, that's, it's that's beautiful. Strut it's guitars. so different. Simon did something truly wow. amazing. That's, that's incredible. Is that okay. a lizard or a dragon inspired? Dinosaur. It's Dinosaur. The, wait, no, it's called the... the tele, it's like it's in pterodactyl. It's the Telecaster, spelled <gasps> PT at the beginning. I think that is the first symmetrical guitar I've ever seen that oh, I've really liked. Look at that. He's thought that through. He really oh. has, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, that's absolutely stunning. Roberto Gomez. Yeah, Roberto's from Mexico and he's just done this. I think it's his first or his second ever build. It's definitely Yay. Like one of his. Man after my heart. <laughs> like he's definitely not done many and he's just gone straight to DGBO 2021 top 10. It's crazy.
<laughs> the thing is, it's, it's also it's very very Mexican. It just is. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah he he did say the whole idea is he wanted to show his culture through his build. Well. Oh, good on him. Done. Absolutely succeeded. Yeah, they, oh yeah, there's the skull bit yeah. in the middle. That's fucking So yeah. kit build, blue. Richard Edwards. That is. It's a very nice blue. I like that a lot. That's a damn nice top as well. It's mm. curly maple in there. Well, you see, there's the pole. I mean, this yeah. looks this looks absolutely amazing. Mm. And Christian Talbot, it's incredibly pretty. I actually want to do a soprano guitar purely because of watching this, to be honest. Hello, and welcome to the final video in my great guitar build-off build.
Uh, oh my Tur- word! Oh, Terrell's the Mandalorian Lego guitar. I love this thing. <laughs> Hey, what's up guitar building enthusiasts? I'm Terrell, aka ZRPC Guitars, and this is my kit build into 2021's Great Guitar Build-Off. All right, guys, that's the build. Benjamin Zwalin, that bass. <sighs> Hello and welcome to Zwalin Custom Guitars. Clumpy, clumpy.
George Figelhuber, uh, another SG type. I want to try something unusual. I want to paint the fretboard white. In general, paint is always really thin, even if you put on several layers, but I don't want the frets to feel small in the end. So I want to add some scalloping. I'm sanding it smooth with sanding paper. And I'm protecting the maple top with a few layers of clear coat. Putting on the clamps. Since it's the Epsilonism inspired guitar, let's add the Epsilonism symbol on the headstock. Now I'm masking off all the maple veneers. And then we'll spray a white base coat. Then I'm doing slight scuff sanding. So the beveled edges of the guitar should remain white. So I'm masking these off. And now I'm spraying on the pearlescent paint named Bondi Beach. Now I'm masking off. This isn't really working. When I masked off, I realized this white is way too bright for this now darker than expected blue top. I had the idea, since the hardware is gold, I could just put gold leaf on the bevel. So let's try that. I paint everything. I'm putting as many coats as I can get out of the can. I let it cure. Then I scuff sand a little bit, then I do a second spraying session. I let it cure. Now I am sanding, so I'm sanding, but the edges and sides I do by hand. This is a feel thing, but always check with the, your eyes. And then we move on to polishing, this eccentric polishing machine. And then I move on to the finer compound. Uh, Lorenzo Delami.
Fifth place in the kit build goes to Chris Klimo of Klimo Custom Guitars. Okay. Chris. Oh, what's that? Is that Chris Klimo? Yeah, it's resin, resin like, stuff. rebar, and yeah. he's burnt it to an absolute crisp <laughs> as well. I haven't, I've missed his, I haven't seen his at all. That's great. Really worth checking looks, out. Yeah, really it's really worth checking cool. out Chris's stuff. He's, a, he's one of these guys that, in addition to building, he's also been like really active within the GGBO community, like giving us really good feedback. Yeah. Really nice chap to talk to as well. Yeah, it's just the finish has just been a little bit of a never. Look at what you see. Oh, look at their headstock! Oh, fantastic. Like, burnt to a crisp, I was not joking. It's an air of Batman. It's fabulous. It, it, it does have an air of Batman, very much so. It was really close in the kit. Was yeah, it? Really, so wow. close. I mean, this is it, absolutely yeah. so cool. I know. I've never seen anything like it. It's such cool photos. concepts. Yeah. Yeah, he took really good photos. Well done, Chris. I don't often like resin guitars. If I was given the option to buy this and own it and love it, I would buy this and own it and love it. it I would. He's I, used it in, the, in a nice way, is not he? It doesn't stand as a resin guitar. It's it's utterly it might be the, yeah. No, that that is that is incredible. Tool. Well done, Chris. Um, fifth place. So, what uh, what what has he won? A 500W keyless multi tool from Triton. Nice. And a set of three leveling beams from Crimson and a 10-inch fine fret slotting saw. Fantastic. Okay. Nice. Good stuff. Number five in the scratch is Anthony Platts. Oh my gosh. Okay. With a copper Actually. ES335. Oh. The the way it's made looks like it could be 
from a distance, it looks like it could be copper. It looks like it could be leather. Mm. It's. Um, I thought it was copper. It is. <laughs> it is copper. Sorry, yeah, I, I like. But from here, you were going with that as if it wasn't copper. <laughs> no, that, that's the thing. It's, it's got it's, multiple it's stunning, different yeah, things yeah, that it could stunning. be. So it's amazing. Mm. When I was talking to Leanderton, when he was sending us his judging results, he said he would proudly buy and play that guitar. Wow! That Which is, is like yeah, that's cool. That is a that serious, is a show serious, out. serious compliment. Yeah, we'll play that too. It's it's not only the level of detail that he's gone so into. It's it's how difficult. I know exactly how difficult it is to get mm. this sort of an effect without utterly destroying the instrument. He does some fun videos too. The, 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 the way he talks is lovely. Well, this is it. If you haven't yet, uh, please go to the uh, profile page on the on the channel here and check out the actual build videos um, because, well, and that goes for everybody in for everybody in the whole competition, to be honest. Anthony has won. He has won the same. He has Second also again. won the Keyless Multi-Tool from Triton, a set of three Crimson Leveling Beams, and a 10-inch Fine Pressing Slot Saw. Fourth place in kit is Tyler Peterson with the Microternal Acoustasonic. Oh wow. wow, there we go. Okay, I'm very glad of that. So this is, 
This is a, a guitar of its of the time that we are currently in. It is a zeitgeisty guitar, as it were. The cool thing about that was the microtonal frets as well, which is not a thing in Western music, but no. still absolutely awesome. Done well, it's amazing. I don't think I would ever be able to make a single note of worth. Quite sleek looking, isn't it? When you see it in the body, mm. it's incredible. It's very clean. It looks like it would play like absolute it's not too busy, is it? No. The funny thing it is, works, right? I, I don't notice the microtonal frets until after the fact. There's so many other things going on that mm -hmm. are impressive and uh, worth looking at. It's sort of a cross between the acoustic and a, um, a Godin uh, electroacoustic yeah. kind of things, which is a it's a fantastic look. And uh, as I think Tom pointed out earlier, it's, it's got purfling around the uh, around the inner uh, soundboard. What has uh, Tyler Peterson won? And he has won a set of four different auto jaws from Triton, Those three inch use. face clamp, drill press bench clamp, a six inch face clamp and a six inch bench clamp, as well as a set of three leveling beams and a fine pressing slot saw. Fantastic, okay. Mm. Well done Michael. Fourth place, it's Michael van den Alden. Seriously? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's lovely. No, that's incredible. The inlay, the, the, the inlay on that fretboard, you can't really see it. Does it say skipper? Yeah. It's because <laughs> his um, channel is Captain of My Shed. Ah. Oh. So he's the skipper. I'm Captain Mikey. This is my entry into the Great Guitar Build-Off. Well, he's also, I must, I must mention that he's also an airline pilot, so he's quite a busy bloke. You know? <laughs> okay. Not at the moment. Maybe, maybe the moment, less so no. right now, yeah. He's had that a bit more time, maybe.
No, it's a mahogany body with a flame maple neck. Oh, it's just, just that's that's the thing. I'm just looking at the detail, oh, and the yeah. 3D effects on the top was actually done by his father, so it's a family oh, son project as well. Oh, I like that a lot. Brilliant. There we go. <clears throat> I, lo- I like that a lot. Yeah, it's killer. Yeah. Epiphone Pro Bucket as well, proper rock and roll pickups. Sorry, I'm a bit of a specs nerd. You all learn this about me very quickly. Uh, you, you'd be a specs nerd. I'm just looking at it and drooling. I know, right? Yeah, it's it's got a very, it's it's got a sort of dated kind of feel to it. It's sort of a seventies kind say, of it's thing. A bit, it would really but it's also that. ultra modern. Yeah. I just, I'm confused and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So far, so good, Matt. But will it rock? That's a big sound, that's cool. Right? The more you yeah. look, the more intricate yeah. it gets, and you realise how much work went into it. That that scratch base is it? something Fair else. Play. Yeah. His dad okay. With that. So fourth dad position. Actually, yeah. He has also won some awesome auto doors, three inch clamps from Triton, a drill press and bench clamp. A face clamp and another bench clamp in six inch as well. Good. And he's got the threat leveling beam set at three and the ten inch fret sorting saw. Okay. Top three now. This is where it gets pretty awesome. Third place in the kit build. Stephen Tucker. Stephen Tucker with the Falconist. I do like that one. Again, this is one of those builds that you can't necessarily tell that it's a kit. No, no, you absolutely can't. Yeah. It's it's incredible. This is the F guitar, the Falcon ST21. You saw it right here, folks. This is the kit that I ordered in a whole bunch of pieces. Uh, Chawler Bridge, straight from Germany. Roller Bridge, Dragon Fire Pickup, Dragon Fire Wiring Harness. Look them up. We make good stuff. String through. My design. Falcon ST21. Boat right here. Oh yeah.
It's just such it's a unique build. I'd love to know exactly. I mean, I've watched all his videos and I still don't understand what all that wiring is. Yeah, that's <laughs> <I'm> really. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, and the other thing is, well, look at the lipstick pickups up there. Mm. I'm very interested to hear what those sound like, actually. Mm. He does, yeah, again, he's done a sound demo of it on his channel. Okay. He says it's the best playing guitar he's ever played. Yeah. Something about playing is a guitar. Play, is it him playing? Play. Yeah, it is, yeah. Good one. There is something about playing guitar that you've made that, that does make a difference. Well done, Stephen. <laughs> and it's it's you know, very, very, very well done. It's so unique. I also love the headstock. The uh, putting the really flame maker nice. in there, really. the uh, multi uh, multi layer construction. Yeah, the whole thing just it just works. So uh, that's what it is. It's sort of a combination of the explorer and the flying whip. Mm. Really, it's not easy doing that multi layer as well. And no. getting the sounding on that. Is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just calls it the E type. He doesn't say the full explorer word. <laughs> um, yeah, explorer inspired. So yeah, he's actually yeah. won a. Oscillating spindle sander from Triton. Fantastic. Wow. And a full crimson essential foot dress and leveling kit and a ten pound voucher from House of Resin. Okay. I yeah. mean geez. great prizes. In third place, Jason Mates. Oh okay. Jason. I mean there were a lot of people last year that thought he should come first last year. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I I completely concur. Um well I mean uh, it, it is his his skill of carving is just insane. Jason makes. I'm so glad he made it in yeah. again this year. He was only um, wasn't he last year? Yeah, he absolutely. Was, yeah. yeah, I mean, Odin. that's one of those things. Can you follow Odin? And he's he's come with Medusa and that yeah. face, even in that tiny little. A couple of the incredible. judges specifically commented that that carving was 
out of this world. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Isn't again, it? that was another one that Leanderton specifically commented on. Like, he commented on two builds, Anthony's and Jason's, and said that was just the attention to detail was <sighs> mind blowing. That angle is. Yeah. And again, you watch his video and you watch him doing all the snakes one by one by hand. Yeah. And it's just absolutely mind numbing level of skill and yeah. dedication. I watched a lot of his Odin last year and it was, yeah, it was anything like. As a budding loop here, it makes me realise just how far you can go with it. Yeah. You could. There are no boundaries. There should not be any boundaries. You know. Cow proven. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you, you, you hold up a piece of wood and say, I will not presume your shape. You will be what you want to be and be there. Wow. Well uh, done, Jason. Very yeah. well deserved. I mean, I want to know, is he a professional carver as a, by trade? I don't know. All I know is he's from White Bluff, Tennessee. Yeah, we don't have masses of information on that. Yeah. No, his, bi okay. really his bios his videos, are legendarily to the point. Okay, fair enough. Concise chat. No, he lets him talk, so. talking, doesn't he? Which, oh, I mean, yeah, yeah wouldn't you doesn't. if you'd melt something like that? Yeah, it, it, it doesn't. No, no, I build crazy things and I talk for hours. Or weeks, even. Anyhow, <laughs> let us, uh, <laughs> so let us move on. Before we move on, do you want to know what he's won? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's have a look. So uh, we've just heard uh, you've won the um, Oscillating Spindle Sander, the Essential Threat Dressing and the Leveling Toolkit, and the £10 voucher for House of Resin. Well this is where it gets real crazy. Okay. Okay. Second is. Mumbling Productions, Stuart Murray. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, oh Stuart. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to win. Cool it's an amazing guitar. Okay. It's an this... amazing guitar, but for him, it's the whole. He's very much the great guitar builder of package, isn't he? He is. Like... Yeah. Hello, welcome to Remus Guitars. Welcome to my home studio, and welcome to our entry into the Great Guitar Build Off 2021 Kit Build Edition. I'm not entirely sure what Stuart's going to do with this, but let's find out <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you made it over. yeah fantastic. again it's one of those builds yeah that is mumbling productions yeah, absolute, the man, the myth, and absolute the legend. legend yeah I mean brilliant it's not fair that he's him, that he? good on camera <laughs> and that funny and good at building guitars It's just, just like the only problem I kept, I kept getting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I can't really say that because you know. Uh, I kept yeah. getting distracted by the. Uh, you talk about his build, but I get distracted by the animals in the window. Like there was just. <laughs> like, I was trying to concentrate, and then there's like a dinosaur in the background, or a dolphin, or something. The whole he has. The He's whole brilliant. Package. He's brilliant. Don't try this at home. Do it in a workshop with the proper tools.
And this was Lee Anderson's favourite kit build entry. Nice. Again, just amazing. It's called Barbara. I love the fact <laughs> it's called Barbara. I sit, oh, he won me over as soon as I saw that. Why, that, why am I on, on these I had, to leave that, I had to leave that photo in because I knew you'd be scrolling through it at some point. <laughs> How did that get in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I've watched his video so many times. Yeah, oh, as well. It's, just, it's just fun, isn't it? Again, another guy who's been like a massive pillar in the GGBO community as well. Yeah. He's been like encouraging all the other builders, being massively positive. I'm so pleased feedback. he's won something. And second is great. Second isn't is it? great, yeah. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, yeah well deserved to it. Yeah. Like, absolutely. Not just for the guitar. Not just for the guitar, but the content oh, as well. Oh, very much so. I hadn't spotted the around the tuner, the sort of barbed wire kind of a look around the tuners as well. No, it just gets more metal, both literally and <laughs> aesthetically, the more you look at it. It's also got the James Hetfield pickups in it, which is just pure metal. Yeah, absolutely. What, what, does, he he, what does he win? So yeah. he has won a compact precision plunge router from Triton, as well as the auto draws face clamp and the bench clamp. He's got the full Luthia starter toolkit from Crimson nice. and a twenty pound house of resin voucher. That's a great, a great set of clothing. So, so this is now second, second place. place. This is the big okay, one second place for the great guitar build or Strash build. Matej Corres with a tsunami. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Fair so, play. I, I thought he was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> the clue zone art on that is oh. just. Gold wire and it's and it's an an, an, an enameling process. Yeah, I watched some of his his uh, build videos. Yeah, it's just incredible. And, and that's that's a that's a process that I often say that you should take inspiration from other people and other crafts. And that is a perfect example and incredibly well done. I'm I'm looking at this and I've watched I've watched the his final video as well yeah. and 
the detailing on that is just mind blowing, isn't it? The fact that he had to also make a second neck. He didn't like the first one, it wasn't good enough for him, so he's like, I'm just going to do it again. And then he just knocked it. Perfectionist, they like it. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's not surprising when you see that kind of artwork that he's a perfectionist. I mean, Great Wave of Kamigawa is a. It is a monumentally epic piece of art. And it is also everywhere. You, know, you, you see that image everywhere, yeah. but he's really done very it justice, rarely isn't he? done like that. And it's not often that I see anything done on the guitar that I don't think, you know, rather flippantly or arrogantly, I can't do that. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. Uh, it's. I kind of want a commission to make one for me. That's, that's praise <laughs> from Caesar right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm, I'm serious. I. I would seriously consider commissioning that. Um, so yeah, everybody. Uh, yeah, go check. That here out. we go. Yeah. Mateo Correa's. Go and check out the YouTube video. Um, Brilliant. If you want, like, an overstimulation of uh, inspiration. If that seems to make any sense whatsoever. Yeah, we get what yeah, I mean. It's, <laughs> a way, it's a good way to describe that build. Yeah. It, it's just incredible. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. He has also won the Compact Plunge Precision Router from Triton, the Auto Draw Space Clamp, the Bench Clamp, the Luthier Star Toolkit, and the 20 Foot House Resin Voucher. Who won? Who came first place? Who do you think? It's Rail Perel Nitto. Oh, <laughs> yeah. fantastic. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, not this, was, this was close. The final judge's result came back. And it was that close on the, okay. the kit. Wow. Well done, Israel. That means that he's contractually obliged to give me the guitar, yeah? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I didn't read the small print. optado por este diseño, inspirado en el DeLorean de la película Regreso al Futuro, Back to the Future, para los que lo conozcáis en inglés. Y, y bueno, eh, la verdad ha quedado bastante chula, estoy muy satisfecho con el resultado final y os cuento un poco lo que le he hecho. Aquí estoy cambiando, le he cambiado lo que es un poco el, el borde, el perfil de, de la guitarra de este diseño Telecaster, para que sea un poco más cómoda y también que se asemeje un poco a lo que son las líneas del propio DeLorean. Eh, también he decidido no pintar esta guitarra y, y está entera recubierta con pan de plata. Con ello lo que intento conseguir es un acabado similar al de la carrocería de, de este coche, porque para los que no lo sepáis, pues ese coche la carrocería no va pintada, es aluminio pulido. Y la verdad ha quedado bastante chulo, ¿no? Y bueno, os cuento un poco pues los elementos más llamativo, más interesante que tiene esta guitarra, como podéis ver, tiene bastantes cosas inspiradas, sobre todo en la parte interior del, del DeLorean. Bueno, eh, cuenta con un panel, con un display, con tres marcadores de fecha, las cuales se pueden modificar, ¿vale? Se acciona con este interruptor, ¿de acuerdo? La enciendes y ya se encienden los tres displays, ¿vale? Puedes pulsar los botones que están en el lado, se enciende el LED amarillo, cuando pulsas el botón amarillo, y puedes introducir la, la fecha de destino a la que quieras viajar en el tiempo. No se te olvide poner el, el, el pulsar el verde para poner la fecha en la que estás ahora mismo, ¿vale? Y el rojo, pues si quieres ir al, al destino final, ¿de acuerdo? Pues lo pulsas el botón rojo, igualmente se enciende el LED, puedes introducir una fecha. Y la verdad que es bastante divertida porque es funcional, ¿vale? Bien, esta es la toma de carga. Vale, eh, va alimentado con una batería que lleva... No, this thing is... You watch the build process for this. Yeah, it's just next level. Well played, Israel. Yeah, it's amazing. Please, can I get up, up to you on... 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that, that is Fringes undeniably, that, yeah. it's undeniably better than anything I have made out of the kit, period, ever. The flux capacitor works and goes like all sorts of different lighting colours and patterns as well. And it's got a keypad on it so you can enter your time travel dates. <laughs> and it's fully, it's crazy. I absolutely, brilliant. that's one of my favourite, not only favourite builds in GGBO, just favourite builds I have seen ever, period. It's mad. También, pues si bajas la tapa de, de, del interruptor, pues puedes dejar la luz fija y ya no se mueve y ahí se queda. ¿Vale? Igualmente quiere movimiento, pues lo puedes accionar de nuevo. Este otro botón amarillo que está detrás es un kill switch. Lo que hace es cortar la señal de, del sonido de las pastillas, que sirve un poco para jugar cuando estás tocando. Pues la verdad, bastante, una opción bastante chula. También incorpora pues, un medidor de energía. ¿Vale? que cuando enciende pues la aguja se, se mueve y te marca pues que le está llegando electricidad al todo el sistema de, de la máquina del tiempo. Lo bueno es que todos los elementos que ve decorativos pues tienen su propia funcionalidad, no son meramente estéticos, ¿no? Así que bueno, hace que no sea solo un juguete, sino la verdad que es algo, una, una pieza muy, muy curiosa. Es que de mantener pues todos los elementos que incluyen... Israel, serious congratulations. That's brilliant. Uh, th this is... It's one of my favorite builds ever. Out of every guitar I've ever seen made, this is up there. And, uh, yeah. The amount of gadget-looking devices on this one is... Um, but the fact that they actually do things as well, just... Yeah, yeah just they're not makes, just a show, are they? Yeah. I'm going to try and get all these prizes out in one breath. I might have to stop halfway through because there's a few. Okay. So he has got <laughs> the oscillating spindle and belt sander from Triton. The one sliding jewel, The sliding jewel compound miter saw and a plunge router. A miter saw, wow. is it? And yeah. a three inch face clamp and a three inch bench clamp. He's also got a five day building course here at Crimson, if you okay. can get here. Scratch build course though. Not a kit course, it's a five day course. He's going to up it. <laughs> I don't think you can up okay. that. <laughs> he has also got his pick of any one project from the entire Isotunes range of products. Fantastic. Wow. And a hundred quid voucher from House of Resin. I was going to say we should do a drum roll right. for number one, but I'm surrounded so by guitarists. So number, <laughs> number one for scratch. Number one for scratch. Is? It's at my goal. Okay, that is... This was the clear winner. Yeah. Overwhelming favourite from the judges. It's phenomenal. The thing is, again, that is, there is nothing about this instrument that I would want to change. No. It is exactly the sort of thing that you would expect to see in a high-end boutique guitar shop. And I'm terrified to play it because of how gorgeous it is. To make a good guitar, you need to respect certain rules. But just rules are a bit boring. Interesting things can happen when you add your own flow of freedom. Like musician that has eight notes in the scale, but still can compose beautiful and unique music. I love guitar building for its freedom. Tools are my instruments, rules are the notes, and I'm trying to compose my masterpiece symphony with each build that I do. Who knows? Someday I might succeed.
It's beautiful. It's the colour contrast is bang on, isn't it? I, is that Claro Walnut? The, the, the top. Yeah. yeah. It's Walnut top. Well, Walnut root top, ash body, with a Walnut and maple neck, uh, powerful for red fretboard. And it's got a slight multi scale, which I absolutely approve of. Yeah. Do you know how difficult it is doing a perfectly symmetrical wire inlay like that? I don't even know. No. It, it's like properly, properly, freakishly difficult. It's beautiful. Really is. Okay, well, congratulations. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Uh, well deserved. That is... Really well deserved. Yeah. Well, I mean, the winner. The winner! Yeah. Um, so does he want to hear what he's won? Uh, yes, what has he won? What so has he, he won? has won a 450 watt oscillating spindle and belt sander from Triton, the sliding jewel compound mitre saw, 1400 watt plunge router, a 3 inch face clamp, a 3 inch bench clamp, another 5 day building course at Crimson. He has also got... As if he needs one. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, um, again, he can choose any pro- range of products he wants. One product from the entire iTunes range and another 100 quid voucher from House of Resin. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah, I, epic. Great prizes. Crazy. Yeah. Really good prizes. When you do something like this, when you set something like this up and then you give the judging away to the public mm. and, and, and other people and stuff... Mm. Yes, it makes my life a little bit easier, but you worry that maybe mm. you're not going to get the sort of quality in, in, in the final results as you would like, and I can't argue with a single thing that no. we've experienced today. Mm. They're just all um, on a level, aren't they? I am super curious about the uh, uh, builder's, builder's choice. Yeah, yeah. builder's yeah. choice now. Yeah. Even, oh. more, even more yeah, so even now. More yeah. that. For a uh, considered one of this, Bit having the burden of being the only one knowing has been horrendous. <laughs> and now I'm still the only, I'm still the only one that knows the builder's choice winners, and I've got to wait until Benders' video. We'll get there. We will get there. This might be the most Scottish guitar you've ever seen, with its tartan elements, whiskey barrel wood, and other decorative appointments. I was invited to build a guitar as part of the Great Guitar Build-Off, a competition aiming to inspire and share the passion for guitar building and luthiery, while also auctioning off the completed instrument for charity. And here am I, sat with a set of blunt chisels, a saw rasp, and a shugly excuse for a workbench being held together with clamps. But perhaps I didn't need to build something that pushed the boundaries of technical ability. Perhaps all I needed was a strong theme and a good narrative. As I sat down that evening in my kilt, poured myself a wee whiskey and settled in to enjoy my haggis dinner to the relaxing sound of bagpipe music, I thought to myself, what about me is unique that nobody else is gonna do? And that's when it hit me. I'll do a tartan guitar. A guitartan, if you will. As I glanced across my palace of guitar decadence, two of my most prized possessions caught my eye. My gothic flying V, kitted out with the raddest brass hardware known to man, and my Hornby 00 scale model railway diorama featuring the flying Scotsman. It can't be a coincidence, thought I, contemplating the shared adjective of these two beloved items. A guitartan V would indeed be a flying Scotsman. I might not be able to make the most technically challenging instrument in this competition, but I sure as hell can make the most Scottish one. This might be the best smelling guitar ever made. Slajava. This is my clan tartan. I'm thinking of using this for elements like the pit guard, truss cover and a little bit behind the pickup cover. That's enough contemplation, time to get to work. This is going to be a long and arduous journey to success and there's only one thing that can get me through. Iron brew. And perhaps an 80s training montage.
Here is the completed Gitartan, and what a beautiful beastie she is. This is no longer just an instrument. This is an extension of my Highland outfit. All that's left for you now is to hear how it sounds. Uh, we're done. Thank you very much for your support. Click like, subscribe, share to all your friends, and go to greatguitarbuildoff.com for uh, uh, to see everything that you want about this competition. Mm. Sign up to 2022. Sign up to 2022. Yeah, and thank you, Laura, for coming down. Pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for me to play. No, it's an absolute pleasure.